Woo, he came for the wrong one on this one. What is going on everybody? Appreciate you guys all being here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Do me a favor, make sure y'all follow me on all these platforms you see listed all around here and all that good stuff. Y'all, y'all have to check this out because this actually is kind of sad. And what I'm talking about is this guy named Destiny. I'm not calling him a sad individual, but it's sad the situations that happen. Now, I've kind of seen him in and out of different uh, spectrums. There's been a lot of events that I've gone to and spoken at that I actually saw him like on a debate stage. Um, between the two of us, I don't know which one of us talks faster, which I think he might got me beat on that. I think he talks faster than me, Candace, and Shapiro <laughs> for the people y'all knowing out there in these YouTube streets as being fast talkers. Um, this particular thing comes down to a issue of moral and actually spiritual insignificance. Like, I just don't think he has no spiritual guidance and it's, it's, it's okay. He don't have to believe in God, but you can tell that if you are a believer in Christ, that these people are easily influenced by any type of entities that's out there. So this guy that you guys are getting ready to see, he had a response. Candace went on a fresh and fit show and she sat across from people who are in the adult industry. And she was laying some gems out to these girls, right? And Destiny does this video follow-up, pretty much kind of coming at Candace for what she was saying to these young women because he feel that they should be able to express themselves and do things however they want to because this is America. But nobody really talks about the things that happen to folks afterwards or things they may be dealing with to cover up why they're doing what they're doing besides making money. All right, so anyway, let me go ahead and show you all this little clip that he played of Candace and how her response was to these girls, check it out. Did she say selfish bitch? I must have misheard. She's a selfish bitch, should, should mention not marrying her. That's my Holy Oh, I'm gonna get triggered. I feel like I might lose my mind this episode. I agree that these people can be cringe sometimes, but you're saying she's a narcissistic that men shouldn't marry? You're taking that so far. It's a partnership, it's a bond, it's forever. But there's no difference between dating it, and marriage. There is a difference. There is a difference, you just ignored it because you've got a dialogue tree and a narrative you wanna push and you are not gonna engage with anything she's saying. She gave you a perfectly legitimate answer. It is a more permanent form of relationship. It's solidified by law. It's not something you just walk away from or break up from. It's a commitment, ideally, for a lifetime. She gave you a good answer. You just don't like to hear it because it was a good one, and you wouldn't expect to get rid of OnlyFans girl to give you one. And now you're surprised that a bunch of girls that you thought were just going to be titty bimbos are actually giving you a run for your money. You're, you're still talking. <laughs> okay. I'm so <laughs> insecurity coming out of it. <laughs> The women I today are very low value. Uh, bash anybody. I'm not bashing. Hold on. I'm not bashing. The women are low value, that they're going to have worse relationships and lives, and they're going to be unhappy. But I'm not bashing them. Absolutely fascinating to see how someone's mind can be so warped. You know, in the same way that I think it's, it's fascinating. It's fat, bro. I've been respectful in listening to, you know, your lifestyle. No, so you're not respectful. So you guys saw that, right? Now, Candace got to go into his podcast or his channel, whatever you want to call it. And she got to pretty much respond to some of the things that he was saying, right? So check this out. But when you try to create a brand of it and you say things like, oh, well, you know, if you, if you have kids, then you can't just smoke pot and stay in bed and be naked all day. This is actually something that like Seth Rogen just said. Okay. What you're doing Sounds there is awesome. you're actually trying to, you're 30, how old Five. are you? You're 35 years old. Yep. Okay. So what, what are you, what is that? What are you... What do I do? Like if you were 20 well, let's and say you were I'm saying this stuff. I travel the world. I get to research and talk about whatever I, I get, want. I get to yeah. talk cool people like you and other people. I get to, I live in Miami in a high rise for five thousand a month. I mean, I, I think my life is pretty okay. I mean, okay. what do you. But no, but I'm saying like, what are you doing when you're trying to sell to people that, you know, being a hoe is cool, smoking pot, saying I don't like, necessarily think it, that being a hoe is cool. Are you, I, like, are you going to age out of that? What like, I try, what I talk, I you're don't know. You're a 35 year old man, right? I like, you know, and you're, you're, yep. you're kind of doing the like, I'm a college dorm kid and I'm trying to make everything sound cool. But I just want to point out the fact that you're a 35 year old man mm -hmm. and your words should matter and they should they should have weight. Like you, it, I, like I, I said, if you were 20, I'd yep. be like, I get it. When you're 35, mm -hmm. You know, say things with conviction. Say I'd things say that have meaning. Say plenty of things with conviction. Yes. You know, and like when I asked you, what would you recommend to a woman at twenty-five and thirty? I didn't just start rambling about what a twenty-year-old should do and how biological, blah 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 blah. I would say exactly what I would tell a woman at twenty-five or yeah, thirty. Yeah, I know, but your behavior, and 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 I will appreciate that people that are younger d won't understand what I'm saying until you hit thirty-five, which mm -hmm. is I'm I'm gonna be thirty-five this year. Okay. 
you're acting like you're a college dorm kid. Yeah, and your catty insults towards people online make you seem like a high school mean girl. Okay. I mean, like, what do you mean? Like, we all have our, our things. But you're like, selling to them things that you know aren't good. So what do you think I, I'm so selling you, to them? If you what do you think were I'm a 25 year old, like when I'm on the whatever podcast and I'm yeah. surrounded by women that are in their 20s mm -hmm. and they're saying like, you know, the whole life is good. The reason why I said to that girl that I'm going to pray for you is because I know that she's going to have a different perspective when she's older. So I don't, I'm not upset by that. I don't feel like that needs to be attacked when that woman, when that young, when those young girls are around me and we're talking about all of these topics. But when I'm sitting with a 35 year old man, okay, and what do you, you think I'm and, selling and, people? And you know better. Okay? Wait, wait, what do you think I'm selling people? Well, do you think I'm telling people to be I, a hoe? What I said when you were defending the lifestyle of being a hoe, why are you doing that? I don't think I defend the lifestyle of being you a hoe. You did. You did a whole video basically saying that none of my points of me trying to tell these women that they essentially, you can do something better, you don't have to sell your body. This was your like snazzy video. Come back to it. Why are you making a comeback? Yes, you can make a video and be like, why can't someone do heroin? But why would you as a 35 year old man want to sell something to someone or make it seem OK or cool or relevant when you know it's harmful to them? I don't get that because of your age. So, yeah. I, so I don't understand. I don't know what your takeaway from the video was or if there are researchers that give you like talking points to my videos. But generally what I talk about is when it comes to lifestyle, you have to analyze both sides of things. If you grow up incredibly religiously conservative and you are like shamed out of sex and you don't have sex with anybody in your whole life because you're super you know, hyper uh, cognizant of your virginity and all of these like weird things. And that's like coming from an unhealthy external place to say, oh, well, maybe that's worth exploring. On the flip side, if you grow up like hyper liberal and you've fucked like 20 guys by the time you're, you know, 20 years old and you just want to bang everybody and you've got like weird associations with men and everything, I'd say, hey, you should probably slow down. It's probably not healthy. Um, I just encourage people to like explore, honestly, to have like conversations with themselves, with their parents, uh, could be with priests, could be with therapists, could be whatever, and to kind of figure out like what works for them and don't get pushed into one direction from a culture side. It could be the left encouraging people to be way too promiscuous, or it could be the right for people that are shaming people for being promiscuous and saying that, well, this one lifestyle of family stuff is gonna biologically be suited towards you as you get older. I think both of these are equally stupid because it just pushes people in the other direction. So you don't believe in anything. Is what you're saying. Is that what you got from that? Well, you're not committing to I anything. I believe in actually thinking for yourself. That's what I think. I think that every human being roughly exists in this like paradigm where if you fuck 100 people by the time you're 20, probably not healthy. If you've never had sex before and you're 30, probably not healthy. And that you should probably like try to gravitate towards what are like human norms and then what are things that make you happy depending on your culture, depending on your geography. And then you kind of like explore in there and don't be shamed out of exploring from one side to the other. Don't be pushed into something because somebody like Candace Owens or somebody like Stephen Bonnell tells you that you have to do a particular thing, but just like kind of explore I don't tell people things. that they have to do a particular thing, but if I I see somebody that's, do. that's doing heroin. I'm not going to be like, you know, it is whatever, and it's just like whatever. You're just, do you think you're that heroin, heroin is comparable to recreational I, I, sex? I, I am. I am. If, quite frankly, I actually think a woman, as the one that I sat across from when you were critiquing this video, who says that she slept with up to what was it, 20 men per night? Yeah, it's just as bad. And I know that that has to be hurting her soul. So I look at her as a human being. Hurting her and, soul? What yeah. if she just has a different lifestyle she than you? Doesn't. Completely. She doesn't. No, does, she does, you she, know. No, she ha what do you mean, you know? She's, she's telling you, she was very honest, actually. And that's why I appreciate her, because she was very honest that for her, it is just about money, okay? But when I see that individual, when a young woman is saying that she'll sleep and see up to 10 to 20 clients per night, that's a broken individual. And it's just as, it's and just when, you, just as when you see why? somebody who says that, you know, they're doing heroin or doing this, they don't need the guy, the cool guy at the party, be like, yeah, man, it's whatever. Like, it's like, no, you actually like structure, you need somebody to say to you, you don't have to do this. There, you, there's so much better potential within you. You are young, you have your entire life ahead of you. Let's figure out what it is that you're great at. I understand the economic concerns. It's a really tough economy and it's easy money, but there's other things that you can do to make money that will give you better self-value. And so that's why I say that I think that what you're doing as a 35 year old man is you're you're lying. You're just lying. To Do you think people. I'm telling women on average that fucking 20 guys when you is a make good videos idea? and you're replying to conservatives who are rightfully saying that this lifestyle is not good, which should be abundantly clear to every single person. Yeah, what you're trying to do is lie in a clever way. You're and ultimately, like I said, if you were 20, I'd be fine with it. What? But when first you're, of all, I don't know why if I was 20, why that would because make when you you're, fine what, with because it. because you'd have the same influence in your audience regardless. Because your Number brain's one. not developed when you're 20. Number two, so what? Your brain's always developing as you grow. No, your brain develops when you're 25, 26 years old. And so when you see a 20 year old and they have mm -hmm. a bunch of positions, I don't hold them to it. I, think I don't think that's you, with brain development. Gonna, I think that's with life experience. I think. You all right. So after hearing all that, y'all see what it is. It's amazing that a lot of people don't want to actually get to the heart of the matter why people do what they do. Nobody's just going out and just doing what these girls are doing for no reason. Now, you know, there may be an outlier in here somewhere. Somebody that might just be like a nympho, you know, just like sex because they just like it. There's no, no, there's no emotional attachment. But at the same time, they are going to be devalued. 
You find out that they slept with over a hundred folks, y'all. That I don't know what man of value is gonna want a woman like that. Like that, he that's gonna be a special dude for some stuff like that. Now, what's interesting is that this same thing that this guy believed in, he was married. He believed in this. His wife and him both pushed this whole narrative and everything like that. They're not together anymore. Yeah, Destiny and his wife are either divorced or are getting a divorce. They are. Now, anyway, it's not to throw no shade at them. It's just that if you don't have no structure, a set of beliefs, which mine come from the Bible, you can just be tossed wherever the wind blows you. Wherever the wind blows, that's where you're going to be going. No structure, nothing set. You just will be tossed anywhere. Now, with that all being said, I mean, I do wish the best for him with everything like that, but he definitely is lost. He don't think he is. Of course, he wouldn't because he's not spiritual. And if he is spiritual, he's actually being led by the wrong kind of spirits. Because the spirit that comes from the spirit of God the Holy Spirit leads you to truth and righteousness. Notice I said truth and righteousness. What he's spewing out is not a truth. That's why Kenneth said, so you don't believe in anything. No, you don't sit there and say people should be able to explore and do everything they want to. Why would you do that knowing it can hurt them? Like me having children, why would I say my son should just be able to, at the age of three, he should just be able to run across the street, do whatever he want to so he can explore? No, why? Because he's not ready for that yet. He has to be taught something. And the truth is, you will get hit by a car or a bus or a, it can be a train. It can be a semi truck. You can be hit by that. So why would I sit there and tell my sons, be free, go do what you want to go and explore without actually telling you these are the things that can happen to you. So what I'm saying that for is that when you sit there and you are backing up these girls for what they're doing, you are simply saying, forget all the semi trucks, forget all the buses, the trains, the cars, forget all those things that can hit you and harm you because you should be able to go out there and explore that's crazy well Todd that's not yes it is what he was saying and even on a developmental level when she was saying about the brain maturing that's why she said I can understand if a 20 year old is doing these things hey blah, 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 because you would expect that out of them but him as a 35 year old man telling them to do that that is crazy and that can lead to a path of destruction you will sit there and tell these people go explore these things and do these things and when they end up catching something or somebody stalks them somebody ends up deleting them whatever like that because you encouraged them to go to do that would that be considered blood on your hands sir anyway y'all hit that like button for me real quick if y'all don't mind hit it for me right now y'all know i do the little five second thing click it click it right now so this video can get out there all right appreciate it if you do that all right now candace went on fresh and fit afterwards i think this is what it was and watch the follow-up to this so, yeah because uh candace gotta go guys um, she's had a long day. She yes. had to debate Destiny earlier. Yes. That's that's past. Oh, that's 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 tough. Tough. Man, dude, like <laughs> believe something. Right? I don't even care if something I disagree with. Say it with some hair on your chest. Get out of these like this outfit that you're wearing. You're dying your hair. It's like this is not 35 year old man shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. It didn't end well. He, I think he got pretty upset. But I just, you know, I, I wish him well. I want everybody to find substance in their life. But at 35 as a grown man, two marriages, open marriages. It's like you just oh, you gotta. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not even trying yeah. to disrespect. It's just a fact. Not That's a Wikipedia right? page fact, you know. And it's like <laughs> people people don't Damn. don't follow people and don't listen to people whose lives you wouldn't want. That's what I would say to everybody. Mm -hmm. And he plays to young people who just want somebody to reinforce their bad ideas. And I'm never going to do that because he he did comment on me doing something like this and was like just defending people that had bad lifestyles. And I'm like, why would you want girls mm. to have a bad lifestyle? You're pretending that I'm the monster. I'm sitting across from these people saying like, you're worth more, you can do better. No matter what you've done, your life can change. Don't do this. Yeah. And you think you're the hero for being like, oh, Candace doesn't understand. Maybe these girls is what they want. It's like, no, you're, you're a predator in my book. Like, yeah. mm. you know that this isn't gonna be how women, like it's not gonna fulfill their lives in a positive way. So yeah. anyways, that was a little sidebar just to like say, no, cool. don't cool. follow people that are just being contrarian. Like make sure they actually are giving you some substance. I will say this, I've made jokes. I say, you know, women shouldn't be in leadership roles. They shouldn't be in politics, but I will make- uh, One exception? One exception. I think Candace, you need to do something in the political world because more women need to hear your message. Yeah. And the reality is, unfortunately, men, we can't get through to women the same way. Mm. We speak in a certain way where, just even before, you are able to interpret what I said and you are able to interpret what she said and you are able to marry the two and let her be happy, whatever it may be. And <laughs> I think it's very important that there's a female voice that has some logic and reason, etc. And women, a lot of times, don't want to hear what we got to say. Right. Yeah. We need someone that can speak to them and I think I think you should really think and about getting into office. And also, as men, 
We I do. genuinely mean that. I'm very serious. We respect serious. your opinion, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah, 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 no, Ken, it's like... Yeah. Really. I just respect men. I'm like, yeah. we're different, you know, yeah. and I think so much men, women are trying to change men or to tell men that they're not good. And I'm like, why do you, why are we doing that? Like, let men be men, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think your message needs to get out there to women because they'll listen to you before they listen to us, yeah. honestly. That's and I think right. you'll be able to reach way more women, I think, from a political standpoint. Yeah, Amen. we can. All right, y'all heard it all. So let me know what y'all think. Have you heard of Destiny? Do you side with Destiny? Have you heard of Candace? Do you side with Candace? Everybody knows Candace. No, everybody don't because there was a time back in 20 what? Uh, 2019, I didn't know who she was. So not everybody knows. I know who she is now because, you know, she's my sister. Right. I went on her show and everything. She's my sister. Right. Anyway, y'all, before y'all get out of here, make sure y'all get into the cell phones. Let one person know about this channel in your contact list in your phone or even just share it on your social media. Just DM somebody. Hey, go check this guy out. Really appreciate you guys doing that. Right. Because you guys are the reason why this channel and this movement is growing. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing, and most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. <laughs>